and we are on our way out to the break walls. As you can see, the sun is barely rising. And look at that big old ship. So welcome to OC Outdoorsman. It is a little after 6 a.m. 48 degrees right now, air temperature. The water temperature is actually warmer at 56 degrees. So hopefully it'll warm up. Well, I know it'll warm up pedaling like this. We have a three mile trek ahead of us just to get to the brake walls. Here we are at the brake wall. We made pretty good time. We got here in about 45 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna fish the outside of the brake wall because man, conditions are fairly calm. Pretty rough. Every time I've come out here on the boat, it's been pretty rough. But conditions are ideal right now, so we're gonna fish the outside until until conditions change. Now at this point I sped up the footage because I caught a calico bass on my sabiki rig. I thought it was a fluke. So I cast out my line again and I catch a second one. Well, then I cast my sabiki out a third time, and check this out. I end up with a double. Two calico bass on my sabiki rig, and look at these guys. Evidently, I was right on top of a school, because three consecutive casts, I land four calico bass, and all of them on my sabiki rig. I had to speed up the footage again, because now all I could catch was mackerel. One after another. Oh, this is a nice. Ah, oh, came off. That was a big one. All right. Oh no, just a cut mackerel. Yeah, this one's a. Ooh, this one feels good. This might be a bass. Oh shoot, it's a mackerel. Dang it. They're big though. The ones here are pretty big. This is good catfish bait. And I am metering fish all over the place, right at about 20, 20, 25 feet. But I just can't entice them to bite. They are just all over this break wall. After landing that sculpin, things slowed down, so I decided to fly my drone around and capture some footage of this long break wall here in Long Beach. Take a look.
example of how to bring in a fish. All right, so you don't want to uh, have the line up so high where you can't reach it, where you're struggling to reach it. So here you just open up the bale a bit, bring it to about chest level. Like so, see that? A lot easier. Grab a struggling fish. We went a long way out for mackerel. Up here, he took off his jacket. I found the kill. Help. Here's a shot of the Queen Mary. Now, this ship was built in Scotland back in the 1930s by a British cruise company called the Cunard Line. Legend has it that the board of directors at Cunard originally planned to name the ship Queen Victoria which back then required approval by royalty. So the Cunard directors went to King George for his blessing. Now in their meeting with him, they opened by saying, quote, we've decided to name our new ship after England's greatest queen. By that, of course, they meant Queen Victoria, who was the king's grandmother. So the king replied, oh, my wife, Queen Mary, will be delighted that you're naming the ship after her. So that's how the ship earned its name. In 1967, the Queen Mary departed on her final cruise, arriving in Long Beach, California on December 9th. The Queen Mary is now a floating hotel and a popular wedding venue, but the Queen Mary also has a reputation for being one of the most haunted hotels in America, specifically stateroom B340. Apparently back in the 60s, during one of its final transatlantic cruises, before the ship was even docked in Long Beach, a man went crazy and brutally murdered two women. His crimes were discovered and he was locked in his third-class stateroom, either B-222, 224, or B-226. Now, the door was locked and a guard was posted outside. A short time later, he started pounding on the door, saying someone was in there with him, trying to kill him. The guard ignored him, thinking it was a trick to escape. After a while, he quieted down, and the guard figured he went to sleep. The next day, when the ship arrived in port, the crew summoned police detectives who went to apprehend the murderer. When they opened the door to the stateroom, they found the man had been ripped apart, and his entrails and limbs were spread all over the room, and there was no way he could have done this himself. Well, during the next sailing, there were a lot of paranormal reports coming in from that stateroom. When it was finally docked in Long Beach in 1967, the three third-class staterooms were combined into the larger guest room B340, and the reports just continued. By the 1980s, B340 was closed to booking because frightened guests would have to leave. They'd often leave in the middle of the night. I believe the Sci-Fi Channel actually had a special on this ship. All right, enough of the history lesson. I just thought I'd share that with you since there really wasn't too much happening on the water today. It was pretty slow. I'm certain things would have been different if we had live bait. Every time I've come out to the break wall on a boat, we'd always have live sardines and we would just kill it. We'd have, we would be landing calicos on nearly every cast. It was just, it's always wide open at that break wall. Unfortunately, the bait barge here in Long Beach is just located so far away, way past the break wall, so it's probably just out of range for most kayak fishermen. If you enjoy this sort of video content, do consider subscribing. That way you won't miss any of my new video uploads. I try to upload at least once a week, sometimes more. So thank you again for watching and please give this video a thumbs up.